welcome everyone to Behold All Things That Made New. My name is Yami, and if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today, um, I want to share the scripture of my daily devotional because I love when I feel like the Lord is speaking to me. I, I feel seen, heard, understood. I feel like everything I'm praying, everything I'm experiencing, and I get in my word and I get in my devotional. It's like so in accordance to what I'm going through, and it's like. Thank you, Lord. You're listening. You're listening. Um, I'm going to read the, the, the verse. And we are in 1 Peter 5, 6 through 7. And it says, Humble yourself under the mighty power of God. And at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. Give all of your worries and cares to God because he cares about you. Um, the devotional is talking about self-glorification. But to me, this spoke to me in a different way. Like this scripture where he's like, you know, just humble yourself. Humble yourself upon him and give all your cares to him because he cares for you. I feel like there's so many things that we feel like we need to have control of. There's so many things that we feel like, you know, if we don't do, everything is going to fall into places. Everything is just going to collapse. Um, we already have an expectation of an outcome of certain situations around us that we cannot control. And it makes us stress. It makes us worry. It makes us anxious. Um, it makes us sometimes depressed. The reality is that it does can make us depressed. And I myself am going through that right now where I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing something where it's like, Lord, but like, what should I do? You know, I, I, I want to do the complete opposite of being a Christian. I, just being honest, I want to, I want to do the complete opposite of what it is to be a Christian. I just want to, I take matters into my own hands. But the Lord is just, you know, speaking to me today. I decided to fast. Um, I just broke my fast, and I just felt like the Lord was just telling me, like, just humble yourself. Continue to humble yourself. And, and everything that you're anxious about, that you're worried about, everything that's hurting you, give it to me because I care for you. And I don't know if this ever happened to you, but I feel like there has been plenty of occasions where I've had to humble myself. And this is the most difficult thing about being a Christian, where you have to swallow up your pride, your ego, and like literally kill your flesh and do what the Lord is asking you to do and trust that he knows where he's leading you. And then down the line, you realize that it just, it just continued to hurt you. And then you sit there and wonder, did you make the right choice? And the Lord continues to tell you, just give it to me. Continue to humble yourself. Just give it to me. Just give it to me. I have also experienced instances where because of humbling myself, I have experience victory and today the Lord was reminding me that even though I don't know how this is gonna turn out even though I don't know the outcome it glorifies him for us to humble ourselves it glorifies him it makes him feel pleased with us when even in our hardest situations we depend on him we give it to him and that's something that us as christians you know we need to constantly renew our mind like the lord cares for you even if it's ugly what you're going through even if it hurts you even if it's bad the lord still cares for you are you going to trust him are you going to humble yourself are you going to submit to him are you going to obey him and do what is holy and righteous even when everything is going against you and that is the summary of what I got today from this word and I just wanted to come over here and share it because it, it just spoke to me so much so I know that it's going to speak to someone um but yeah make sure to like to comment to subscribe um send me your prayer requests I'm sending the gap for you and I hope that you have a good day